So today we rode our MT-09 2020 up to an area where I've been many times before. I've actually recorded it many times before. There's a giant wooden bear uh, in front of this person's house. And I was taking pictures of it, I think, with the GS one day. The woman came out and said, you know, kind of asked me what I was doing. She says, oh, you want me to take your picture? I'll take your picture with, oh, go stand behind the mailbox. And it, actually, the bear is very cool. And it's in a spot where you come around the corner and all of a sudden, there's the bear. And it's it kind of catches you off guard if you don't know it's a carved wooden bear. It's kind of cool. The people are very friendly that own the house. It's a big, giant house. And usually, if they see you taking a picture, the, the woman will come up and ask you if you want your picture taken. Very cool, very cool destination. Now we're coming up on a time very soon. I'm going to have to order some more tires. It looks like, our, well, we already have a spare tire for the R1. We have a Pirelli that's going to match the front Pirelli. And I wanted to get the, the matching Michelin 5 for the, for the MT-09. This looks like it's really wearing, and it's really a sticky tire. I, it, it's way stickier than, than a 2. And I had thought about putting a match set of 2s on this, and. So I'm still up in the air with it. I still have about a thousand miles on the front tire. We're coming up on where the wear bars are. What's very funny about the front tire that I didn't expect, the sides are wearing. There's plenty of rubber in the middle, but the sides are wearing from cornering, I guess. I don't know. Maybe the, maybe the compound they use on the sides is very, very soft. I noticed this. When you, you rub your hand on the tire and where it changes from one compound to the other, it's smooth, and then it's really, it, it's that like a, like, almost a track day but it's it's really a nice tire i really was having fun with this every time i ride the bike but but again the big test is going to be i want to see how many miles i get because the michelin twos i wear them out in three to four thousand miles and it, after a while it's not even the money it just gets you don't want to go through the summer and be spending the whole summer changing tires so anyway that's where we sit right now but today's a riding day and a muffle for the 750 is all set to put on. We just need a day, a work day, and that may be tomorrow. I don't know that what's predicted tomorrow is rain all day. And that's why in this part of the country, any day you possibly can ride, I try to ride. Because you, you get these unexpected days that right, right in the middle of five nice days, there's a day it rains all day or something. And I do have four or five other little projects to work on besides changing out the tires to get ready for the summer riding season. And what's great about the GS, we have two brand new Michelins on the GS. So we're going to go the whole summer riding on new tires. They, you're not going to wear those out in one summer. But the bikes with the softer tires, they're constantly needing changing. That's why I'm experimenting with that Michelin 5, because the people that have them say they're just as sticky or stickier than the 2s, and they last longer. But again, I'll report once I get another 6,000, 7,000 on that bike, how that tire is wearing or maybe it's going to wear out just like the Michelin 2s. Maybe I'm just rough on equipment. Come on, boys, don't fight. Come on. The fish are so much fun in the morning. I really do enjoy feeding these guys. They take the food right out of my hand. So what I wanted to do this morning, before I head out for a ride and have my coffee and whatnot, I wanted to take some pictures because the yard, the wisteria, this is Karen's pride and joy. She planted the original seed of that wisteria 25, 30 years ago. I don't even know how long, a long time ago anyway. And it's been in our family. It's part of our family and every year waiting for it to bloom is part of our summer. And it looks like it's gonna be a sunny day. So before I do anything else, I wanna shoot a few pictures for my album. Now I try to shoot some pictures while the yard has uh, various things, the wisteria, the tree that's in front of the house. The garden is going to start growing pretty soon. We're going to have, uh, I estimate, hundreds of zinnias and among other things. And tomatoes growing every day and peppers and squash and eggplant. It's going to be, it's going to be endless. But and, and that's what makes the changing of the season so nice. And every day when the yard changes on a daily basis, it's, it's not like a groundhog day life. Every day something new is coming up, pots of flowers are getting bigger by the day, and flowers, the yard just, it's, it's overwhelming to both of us. We get up every morning, we have a, you know, a perp walk, we call the perp walk, that's really not the right word, but 
and we enjoy and we check virtually every plant every day and just to see how they're doing and that is one of the things Karen and I have shared over the 30 years of our marriage oh so we're ready I got my pictures I'm ready to have my coffee get suited up and get out of here it looks like it's going to be a beautiful beautiful day it's actually supposed to get pretty hot today so I got to be careful not to overdress So the weather just played out great today. It actually got a little warm in the afternoon. We're headed up in that area to see our friend, the wooden bear. Again, up here, you see very little traffic, very little law enforcement. And the trees are just starting to turn green. Some are turning pink, some are turning yellow. Beautiful. And I've been monitoring the wear on that rear tire. And for me, this area is about a 30 mile ride from my house. And of course, that is 30 miles back, too, so it's 60 altogether. But it's so worth it not to have to deal with traffic lights and traffic. And there's times I've gone almost the whole ride, not had anybody in front of me. Another benefit, I think there's only one traffic light in the whole area. And you really have to go through Face and Lake to get there. No other way I know. Once you get up in this area, it is really a special place to ride. Now pretty soon with summer coming, there'll be more traffic, but right now it's really great.
and it's hard to believe, but pretty soon it's going to be too hot to ride. Look at this pond. Is that beautiful? Wow. Super pond. I can't tell you that everywhere you go on a back road, there's something beautiful. And the main roads are sweet, but every one of these back roads has little, little views. It just turned out to be a wonderful day. I can't, looking at this video, it's perfect. Just a, fl a few clouds in the sky. Not, not enough to make you even think about it. Any open road, both back roads and main roads. And the beautiful flowering trees still everywhere. One of my favorite destinations, I call it the bear. And boy, the people here are really friendly. They really are. They really love when somebody pays attention to their bear. Several times I've been there and I, the kids wave to you and stuff. It's really a cool place. Anyway, it's, it's really a mailbox. But when you come around the corner fast, if you're not thinking mailbox, you, you, and I have been in this area taking pictures and seeing a bear cross the road. So in the back of my mind, I'm always thinking that. Anyway, it's a cool place. Just like a nice little stopover. Stop and shoot a few pictures. Take a break during the, a really nice ride today. For me, so much more fun than joining a gym. I got my seven pieces of gym equipment out in the garage. And beautiful back roads. Every one you take is something special. Now, when I go on these rides, I never even take a map. I don't want to even know where I am. Sometimes I think I'm lost. I go down another mile, and there I know where I am. It's all kind of a, a subtle little adventure, the adventure of motorcycling. I try to take some video and photos to share almost every day. Tell me this isn't more fun than pumping iron in some sweaty gym. Is it works for me and it works for a lot of my friends. Maybe it works for you too. Oh, you wouldn't be watching a video. Always listen in the background for those chirping birds.
And if you don't think this is good exercise, just do it for three hours a day. Three hours a day on a motorcycle, that's, that's good physical energy. And all the money you save not having to buy those expensive gym memberships. Ooh. Like I said, it, it works for me. I haven't belonged to a gym in five years. Come on, you can do it. You got your camera. Why don't you take a picture of me? <laughs> you can have it. You can have What are you gonna do? You take pictures of yeah, me with the motorcycle? I'm doing headshots from oh myself. God! Hello, my name's Wendy. Hi, Amy. It's a dollar an hour. <laughs> so we're back home, and I want to thank the healthcare workers for making this ride possible. You guys have done a great job. I appreciate it, and I hope you did enjoy the video. And thanks so much for watching. So we do try to post up something interesting every day. We do try to ride every day. It doesn't work out that way all the time. And when we're not riding, we're working on motorcycles. When we're not working on motorcycles, we're dreaming about motorcycles. So, well, it's a good life. It'll keep you young. It'll add 10 years to your life. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it'll take 10 years off your life. I don't really know. Anyway, we do enjoy riding. We try to ride all season. We try to do some nice custom stuff on our own personal collection and a few mitzvahs for our friends. And I hope you enjoyed watching the video. And of course, the biggest thing that I always think, thank you so much for watching. And hopefully, hopefully we will see you tomorrow.